For today's lesson, we will be practicing how to create a bed frame. So from your dashboard, you're gonna tap on create new design. You're going to rename your design at the top left and you're going to call it furniture practice with your initials after it. You are going to edit your grid, change it to inches, and add your ruler. Next, we're going to start making the bed frame. So we're gonna start off with a box. We're going to change our length and our width to three. and our height we're going to change to 0 0.5. Okay, so this is going to be the part of your bed that holds your mattress. Now we're going to work on adding some side rails on the sides of your bed. So having your box selected, you're going to tap on duplicate and repeat up at the top left right next to your paste clipboard and your trash can icon. So you're gonna press duplicate and repeat. That's going to remember that duplicate and repeat makes the box on top of your original. So your new box is now currently on top of your old one. You're going to use the bottom left white box and you're gonna drag over to the right. Now how much you drag is up to you. However wide you want your uh, railing or the side of your bed to be that's up to you okay so you've dragged it over now you're going to use this white box in the center to drag up to change the height of your side rail for the bed okay so width and height of the side rail is up to you once you have it done deselect everything then just tap and drag over okay do not tap and then try and drag because you risk touching other things. So again, you're just tapping from having nothing selected, tapping and dragging over to the right. So it's on the right side of your bed. Now you're going to select that rail that you just created. Again, you're hitting a duplicate and repeat one time. And you're going to drag over to the left. So it is on the left side of your bed. So now you have your two side rails, okay? If you wanna just double check to make sure everything is aligned, you can. You would just select all three, press align, and hit your left center dot, just to make sure everything's all aligned. So now you have your bottom base of the bed and you have your two sides. Now we're going to create the backboard or the headboard for your bed. So you're going to tap on your large box in the center. Again, you're hitting duplicate and repeat. This time you're going to use the black box at the bottom center. It's right above that curved arrow. You're gonna hold down that black box and you're gonna drag to the back. Okay, this is creating your backboard. So again, the, uh, the length is up to you, however long you want it to be. And then you're again going to use that center white box to drag up however tall you want the back part of your bed to be, again, is up to you. So deselect everything, tap and hold, drag it to the back, and make sure that it is attached to your bed. So give it a little twirl, just take a look and make sure that it is attached. Okay, you can have it sticking out like that, you can have it kind of in a little bit more if you want everything to kind of be flush in the back. However you want this to look is up to you, this is your bed. Okay, and that is going to be it for furniture practice, lesson one.